of all of the Naked palettes, uh, this one suits me the best, I think, because it's, it's just got so many cool colors in it that I like. I tend to like a contrast between a light color and a dark color. Um, you know, a light color all over and then really um, emphasize like my, uh, my crease. So I really like it a lot. It, it suits me the best of any of them. Okay, so I'm going to start off with, I'm going to use this color right here. I think it's 13, this color right here, and put that down on my lid. I think I'll take it all the way up to my brow bone. Um, this is an easy one to do, a one a one shadow look too because you've got so many shadows that you could use, so many nice dark to medium shadows that you could use to just do it all the way around and kind of underneath your eye and then you're good to go. I do that quite a bit. I did it yesterday uh, and really liked it a whole lot. So the next one I'm going to do is I'm going to do kind of a transition and I'm going to use this color right here. It is Armor. This one right here. One, two, three, four from the left. And then just kind of put that in the crease and a little in above. And take it down to the crease a little bit. Next, I'm going to take, um, take a pencil brush. I'm going to take a little pencil brush, a little MAC pencil brush. Yeah, it, it's, it's a MAC. It, uh, the names, the numbers first come up off of it a long time ago. And I'm going to go into uh, this color right here, Dagger. And just kind of do in the outer corner and in the crease. Big fluffy brush and blend it. Then I am going to take a beetle brush. This is a real techniques, one of their little bitty brushes. And I'm gonna go into this darkest color right here. This is black market. I'm going to kind of line my upper lines, upper lash line. There. And then um, I'm actually going to go into the crease and I'm going to take this brush that's a Sonia Kashuk, one of those kind of stiff brushes that she makes. I'm going to take that same black, the Black Market with a little tiny brush, and then just go right into the crease there. And then just kind of flick it up. Okay, I'm going to take one of these little elf brushes and just take a little flat elf brush and I'm going to go into slanted. It's like a medium gray and I'm going to go underneath my eyes. Okay, 
And next, I'm going to um, tight line and put it on my waterline. Um, and I always, I always go back to the the NARS uh, Via Veneta. I am not fond of this brush. I don't like one of those curved brushes because I poke myself in the eye. I'm going to have to move my bangs and everything. I can't use them well, especially my left eye. I like a little. I love the little brush on the telescopic, but that formula smears on me. So if I could take that brush and put it in this formula, I'd be good to go. And then I'm going to use some Rocketeur. Cheeks. Put over it a little bit of this, I really like it, uh, Zygomatic from Il Mosca. all over and then lipstick um, it's kind of a strong eye so I'm using my pale lipstick I will use the um, palm cord and the um, nude vanilla the nude vanilla I always use spice under my real pale lipsticks because if I don't, it makes it look, and I put, uh, fill it in, because if I don't, just lightly fill it in, give it a little color. It ends up looking like I got concealer on. And there you have the finished look. I really, really like using this palette. It's, uh, I think it's got beautiful colors. I especially think it's gonna be really pretty this fall and winter because the colors are just really deep and mysterious. And uh, I'm, I'm really happy with it. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope everyone has a wonderful day and I'll talk to you soon, bye-bye. It's when actually they're all going back to the same town and I can see them anytime that I want to. Um, I was sort of imagining 